Thank you for joining us for the third session of our virtual open week, focusing on year seven. I would like to introduce Heather House, our head of lower school. Thank you, Mr. Harrow. I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Mrs. House, and along with my assistant, Mr. Holmes, I'm in charge of the pastoral care of lower school. Lower school means year seven, year eight, and year nine. And yes, I do realize that I'm called Mrs. House and Mr. Holmes is called Mr. Holmes. And yes, we've heard all the jokes about house and homes. So feel free to have a little chortle at that. So I've said that we look after year seven, eight, and nine, but actually we both have a little bit of a passion for year seven. You're not meant to say that. It's a bit like saying who's your favorite child but both Mr. Holmes and I really enjoy Year 7. To see your children come into school full of enthusiasm and energy and potential, it's just great. It's like a breath of fresh air in the life of the school. And of course we know that even if they look confident, there'll be lots of them that are anxious about doing things wrong, worried about making friends, full of questions, not quite sure where to go. And the fantastic thing about Year 7 is that for a little bit of effort, you get great rewards, you know? So if your child is really worried about finding friends, a little bit of effort helping them buddy up with people, great rewards. If they're worried about getting lost, and they all are, a little treasure hunt around the school gets rid of that worry. If they're worried about getting detentions, why are they worried about getting detentions in year seven? Then we can explain things to them. And you know, you just see them a couple of days in, take a deep breath, and relax into the life of the school. Mr. Holmes and I both have children and I think we very much work on the basis of how would we like our kids to be treated by their teachers? So a lot of our, in fact, all of our pastoral care um, relies on our form system. So usually in year seven, there are three forms and I would like to say that we pick our year seven form tutors very, very carefully. We pick ones who are very empathetic to that year group, um, who have a good sense of humour and a good sense of fun because school days are meant to be the best days of your life. And we pick form tutors who understand that those little questions that they're asked a hundred times a day really, really matter. And we want to be approachable, you know, my door's always been knocked. We want to be approachable because we don't believe in scaring children till year nine, which is when the hormones kick in and oh my goodness, but that's a couple of years away for you. Now that might all sound a little bit casual, you know, are we just here to answer questions? Are we just here to help them make friends? But no, you see, I really believe that we can be both. We can be very pastoral, but we can always expect some serious learning. And at AKS, we consistently have fantastic GCSE and A-level results. And we work both of those things at the same time. I feel very, very strongly that if your child feels welcomed, if they make friends, if their head is free from worries and anxieties, then they will learn. It works together. You know, the pastoral and the academic work together. And Mr. Holmes and I look after the academic as well. We scrutinize the results and their progress. So while we're being these friendly, lovely, supportive people, we are also keeping a, a close eye on their academic work. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't be friendly and pastoral and academic because you can. And I think what we think is in year seven, we're setting up your child for their journey right through school. We're setting up good habits from day one. And it sounds a bit strange to say that from lesson one in year seven, we've already got GCSEs and A-levels in our mind. So, you know, for example, when I was teaching RS today, um, the class were practicing answering evaluation questions in a fun way, you know, but they were beginning to learn those skills right away. And it's never too early to learn. And the earlier they learn, the more relaxed they are about it when they sit their exams. We do a couple of really unique things at AKS. We have a lesson called Learning to Learn, and it's an actual timetabled lesson in year seven and year eight. And they have an hour a week learning how to learn because spoon feeding children doesn't lead to developing learning or understanding. And learning to learn is about how you learn, how you learn to be an independent learner, how you learn to research, how you learn about your memory. And we invest time to make sure that they've got that really good foundation of learning. 
And at the same time, that's the academic bit, at the same time, PSHE is really supported well at AKS because, I, as I've said, this hand in glove of pastoral and academic going together. And we want to get them relaxed so they can learn. So we will do an awful lot about friendship and about bullying. Um, the first half term, we'll look at self-confidence, e-safety, mental well-being, teamwork, healthy relationships. We have some fantastic conversations in those PSHE classes. And it, it's a safe place for your child to be. I've mentioned Mr. Holmes before, and I'm going to hand over to him now. And he will talk about the things that we do to help your child transit from primary school to secondary school. I look forward to speaking to you again in the question and answer session. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Thank you, Mrs. House. I'll introduce myself. My name is Mr. Holmes. I'm an assistant head of lower school and also a PE teacher. I work with Mrs. House looking after year seven, eight or nine, looking after their welfare and making sure that they're happy within school. I'm going to speak to you today about transitions, moving from year six into year seven. It's a scary time, but it's also an exciting time. It's full of the unknown and expectations of meeting new friends and having new experiences in senior school. The transition process is a great opportunity uh, for you guys to ask us questions, uh, for you to get to know us a little better, and also we use it in order for you to get to know some of your peers who will be with you in year seven. As part of the transition process, we come into your school to meet you and meet your teachers, to get to know a little bit more about you. As well as this, we have a number of different activities which we run at AKS, giving you the opportunity to come into school and meet um, other people from the Year 6 cohort coming into Year 7, as well as some of the teachers that you'll come across in day-to-day -day, uh, as you move through AKS school. We will run a taste today, which will give you opportunity to come into school, get to know the school a little bit better, um, and also meet some of your peers that will join you in Year 7, as well as a social evening where we will get to have fun and play some games and a great chat opportunity to make some new friends. Because of the, the circumstances this year, we ran it a little bit differently. We had um, a number of activities where students were able to uh, fill in information about themselves so it gives us opportunity to get to know them about them a little bit more which um, allows the form tutors to um, find out some more information about about you guys um, also we ran Skype sessions in small groups again just so to familiarize yourselves with us and us with you it also gave the students the opposite op opportunity to ask questions and raise some of those concerns which everybody will be thinking as they go through this transition process. As well as that, we also had st staff videos, so myself, Mrs House and the form tutors um, sent out videos to, to the, the Year 7 cohort so that they could get to know a little bit more about us um, and they knew us as they were moving into September. Some of this year's Year 7 cohort took the opportunity to actually send us videos. It was fantastic because it allowed us the opportunity to see some of your pers the, the personalities and, and really for the form tutors to get to know some of their pupils before September. As we know, this is a big transition, a big change, and with that become, comes a few worries, a bit of anxieties about what it's going to be like, the fear of the unknown really. And so this last year we had a fantastic group of Year 7s that put a video together and shared it with the Year 6s so they knew what sort of things to expect, so they were able to um, talk about their own experiences, what they were worried about and how things in school were put in place in order to help and support them and how they'd had a really positive experience um, in Year 7 at AKS. In fact, you can see some of those videos on the whole school video on the school social media. So when you arrive in September, we also have a mentoring system where year nines or a group of year nines will be assigned to a group of year sevens and they will meet to discuss topics and support you in a number of issues and um, processes throughout school. So some of them will be homework and how that works, organising yourself for study, um, effort grades, target setting, self-awareness, revision strategies for the end of year tests. The AKS family is friendly, supportive, and we really look forward to seeing you in the coming months. I came from Livingham Hall Park Primary School. I wanted to join AKS Senior School because it has lots of great opportunities for me. 
I am probably most looking forward to all the sporting opportunities. I came from Horizon English School Dubai. I was a little bit nervous but then it ended up being all okay because everyone was really nice and welcoming. Before joining AKS, I came from St Nicholas Primary School. I wanted to join AKS Senior School because all of the teachers were very welcoming on the opening evening and um, all of the sports looked fantastic. During the transition process, I really enjoyed the fact that they used Zoom calls. They spilled into, up into about five or six on a call with Mr Holmes and Mrs House and they explained to us what would happen at school. My first day was very good because all of the teachers were very, were very welcoming. I have really enjoyed my first week at school but if I had to single out a few things I really enjoyed, I'd say um, the football at the breaks, the school dinners and the fact that we have a library period. I really enjoy reading. I just really enjoy it. Uh, in football I'm a striker slash goalkeeper, but mostly a striker. And uh, in cricket I'm normally a bowler or a uh, wicket keeper. Uh, my, my first week at AKS has been actually very, very good because I've made new friends and um, the lunches and all of the sports is real good. I come about half an hour on a bus and it's worth the trip because although I get the bus from 7.41, although that's pretty early, when I get to AKS it's just an outstanding look of the school and then you just go in and see all of your friends' happy faces. I've never done hockey before and I've done hockey here and it's really nice and the PE teachers really helped me and I really liked the netball and we got to do on AstroTurf and that was really fun. My favourite teacher is probably my maths teacher, Mrs Green. She is very funny, helps us to learn a lot and is always up for a challenge. Mr Humphreys, he's um, our form teacher and our maths teacher and he's really nice. Um, he helped me with my maths and he makes it really fun. Mr Costellus again because he's very funny and he just welcomes me in the morning and makes me feel good and gives me that extra boost for the day. My favourite school dinner so far has been the chicken goujons. They were really delicious. Ooh, uh, I've just had pizza for lunch. That was very nice and the pudding was like Oreo cheesecake. Uh, we chose AKS for Michael because we were really impressed with the academic background of the school um, but we were also really pleased with the range of co-curricular activities that are available from sports right through to cookery, right through to the social action and charity opportunities and I think that at this age children need to find their own way in terms of what they want to do in the future and with such a wide range it just seemed like a really good opportunity. What we liked about AKS was the whole school approach to learning he participates in all the clubs, from sporting to music to choir, a role within AKS Action and Bring Me Sunshine, which gave him the opportunity to meet children from different year groups, children that perhaps he wouldn't have met through his academic life in school. Um, well, when we brought Michael to um, the open evening at, at AKS, we found that he was really comfortable, he seemed really excited, um, he got a really good kind of engagement with the, uh, the various teachers that he met. So the reason that we chose AKS for Michael was because he seemed really comfortable here. Um, he also was really excited about the range of sports available. Uh, he's really enjoyed football in the past, but was really keen to try rugby uh, and, and the other sports available. Um, and I think overall, um, he, he responded really well to all the different assets of the school. In terms of the transition to Year 7, Michael really enjoyed getting involved in the activities that were sent home by Mrs House and Mr Holmes. 
Um, he also really enjoyed meeting Mr Holmes and Mrs House in the um, meetings via Zoom that were done uh, in the run-up to uh, joining the school. Uh, obviously, everything was a little bit different this year, but every meeting we had still made him feel reassured and looking forward to, uh, to starting at the school. And from our point of view, it was really reassuring to meet the head teacher and also a, a range of the staff over the Zoom calls this year. Um, it really made us reassured and it helped to put names to faces as well as having had all the information through in the information pack. So you felt really positive about the amount of information you knew in advance. And it was really reassuring, particularly in what's been a really challenging year for everybody, to have so much information up front and so many opportunities to ask questions and, and get reassurances on anything you were concerned about. Um, in terms of Michael joining AKS, the induction day was really positive. We came along in the morning, everything was really relaxed and friendly, but also really clear and informative. Um, and it was really easy for the kids just to go and join their form, get immediately chatting to their new uh, classmates. Um, and the whole morning felt really relaxing and, and positive from a parent's point of view. Now Michael's joined AKS, he's really looking forward to getting stuck into lots of different activities. Um, it's really new obviously in Year 7 for them to have so many different subjects. So he's really looking forward to meeting all his teachers and starting to learn about all the different areas that he hasn't uh, experienced before. Um, and he's really looking forward to getting stuck in in terms of the sport. Um, he's already been to his first rugby session and really enjoyed that even though he'd never played before. So it's again really welcoming and obviously great opportunities for everyone to get involved in all the activities. Some of the highlights of which there were many um, from our son's time in Year 7 was the geography field trip which he really, really enjoyed and learnt an awful lot, both about himself and geography. He was lucky enough to be asked to represent the school in a public speaking competition, both locally and then when they got through that round, we went up to Windermere, um, which was a wonderful opportunity for him. As soon as the situation uh, in March developed, the whole staff were on board, they kept the students and the parents up to date every step of the way. And even when we went into lockdown, the connections there through interesting quizzes, through um, continued academics and just making them aware that they were there to support them every step of the way was vitally important and really helped my daughter through the process. The main strength of AKS, I, I once again repeat that, the academic uh, success is a sort of given, you know, it's, it's been there for, for many, many years. It always comes through, it always shines through at result stage. But it's more the the the, um, the pastoral social responsibilities, social education that they get. I've got two very, very confident children that have come out of here with wonderful memories, wonderful friendships. When they see teachers of the past, they, they you know, there's a great rapport between them. Um, so yeah, the one big thing I, I really, I really would um, shout from the rooftops over would be the staff-child relationship that exists. AKS, as a whole, as a whole school, is it feels like one big community uh, where the prep school, the nursery, and the senior school all respect each other and work together for the very best of the the pupils throughout the immense amount of opportunities for each student to take part in the choir, the swing band, the concert band, the chamber choir. If your child is musical then it's the school for them. AKS has got many strengths and obviously it focuses very much on its academics as one of its important strengths but actually I think its key strength is the whole package. It looks at a student and um, really brings out the strengths within that individual, whether it's um, giving them the opportunities to take part in sport and excel in sport, or whether it's taking part in other things. Um, the, the teachers work very hard to make sure that that whole package is realised for the individual student. I think that's its key strength.
there's a poster on my wall in my office and it goes something like, it's the little off the cuff statements, it's the little act of kindnesses that make all the difference to your child. And it's those comments and those acts that they will remember. So, you know, rest easy, rest easy. We will welcome your child. We will care for them academically and pastorally. We like it, we love it, we enjoy it. And we hope that we have that kind of relationship with the children where they can feel that and respond to it. Hello, I'm Liz Wyatt and I'm responsible for the admission of new students to our school. Tonight, I'm going to cover admission of children that are planning to join us in year seven. Deciding on a senior school is a really big decision and I'm always available to answer any questions you may have, however small, to help inform that process. I work really closely with Mrs House and Mr Holmes throughout the application and the transition process and our aim is to make it as easy and as much fun as possible. So, what are the steps for applying for a place in Year 7 at AKS? I hope you've found this evening and others throughout the week useful. Hopefully I've covered at least some of your questions surrounding the Year 7 admissions. I'm sure there are many more and we would be happy to address these at our Q&A session next week. Moving forward, should further questions occur, please do contact me and I'd be really happy to help. I look forward to seeing you soon. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching in the light of God.